alone in Paris, the star of the day is Grock, world-famous clown of pre-war days, giving his first public performance for eight years. Last December, the 67-year-old Swiss-born Grock refused an invitation to appear in Britain, said he couldn't afford our income tax. In the 1920s and 30s, Grock was the world's funny man number one. Today, in a laughter-starved world, he can still make us laugh with the jokes of yesterday. Come swooner crooners, come bobby soxers, the clown still has a place in everyone's hut. London stages the final pool of the amateur foil championships of 1947. Each assault is determined by the best of nine hits. Points are awarded for the hits scored on your opponent. The ancient Greeks introduced fencing, a means of self-defense, as a sport. In Britain today, its popularity grows. A record entry of 60 fencers competed for the title of British amateur foil champion. Winner is Ronnie Paul, left of Sal Bertrand, who beat Dr. Treadgold of the London Fencing Club. From Mrs. Babington Smith, Paul gets the foil of honor. Now get ready to meet something new in White Hopes. Latest challenger to Joe Lewis, his name, when you see him, is Laurie Maguire, and he's five years old. Hello, friend. Where's that Hello, boxing half fight of yours? Here you are, John. He's all yours. Hello, Laurie. I hear you're pretty good. Will you show me what you can do? I don't see shadow boxing first. Some shadow boxing. Oh, good. Let's go. The father Maguire is a keen boxing fan. He acts as trainer and manager to the champion to be. Young Laurie has been a boxer since he was four. He trains like a pro and spends four hours in the gym every day. A good boxing long shot for around about 1960. Go on. Go on, hit it. Quite a punch. Can I yes. see you on the punch ball? Yes, I'll show you. Good. We'll have a see what you can do on the punch ball now, son. Here it comes. Let's have it over here. Now then, we'll see what you can do. Let's go that right, Lawyer. 